Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. House Democrats look well positioned to retake the House majority in the midterm elections, fueled by their base's animosity toward President Donald Trump and absolutely committed to using the vote in 55 days time to send a message to him. Should the energized Democratic base deliver Nancy Pelosi the speakership she lost in the 2010 election, it would be a remarkable journey for the California Democrat, who has weathered eight years of speculation about her political future and growing calls within her caucus for her to step aside. Asked whether they believe that Trump should be impeached and removed from office, or not, 47% said Trump should be impeached while 48% said they don't feel that way. Support for Trump's impeachment has grown from 42% in a CNN SSRS poll conducted earlier this summer. By comparison, 29% of people said then-President Barack Obama should be impeached and 70% said they didn't feel that way in a CNN poll conducted in late November 2014. Being indicted isn't Donald Trump's problem. Impeachment might be. Those numbers, on their face, are stunning. Less than two years into Trump's term, half the country would like to see him impeached. Like, now. But dig into the party and ideological breakdowns of that impeachment questions, and Pelosi's potential dilemma becomes very, very clear. Almost 8 in 10, 78%. Democrats believe Trump should be impeached immediately, while only 16% don't feel that way. The numbers among self-described liberals are nearly the same, 79% want Trump impeached as compared to 17% who don't. You don't have to be a political genius to see the writing on the wall there, hardcore Democrats, the sort who are likely to turn out in droves come November 6, want Trump gone. Or at the very least, they want their leadership to push for articles of impeachment to be brought against him.